Another 75 Ukrainians from captivity have returned as part of the prisoner exchange, four of them are civilians. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky wrote about this on his Telegram channel. Those released are National Guard soldiers, border service officers and military personnel of the armed forces. Andrei Yermak, the head of the office of the President of Ukraine, said that 19 servicemen captured on Zmeny Island, 10 servicemen from the defenders of Mariupol and Azovstal, 14 servicemen captured at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, as well as military personnel captured in various directions are among those released. Among those released are 70 men and 5 women. At least 3 people who returned from captivity are injured. There are also disabled and seriously ill people among the returned hostages. The temporarily occupied Crimea is restless again. On the night of May 30 a series of explosions rang out in Kerch. This is reported by local telegram channels. The occupiers blocked traffic with the illegally built Crimean bridge, but it was later restored. A resident of occupied Kerch told Sespilno in a comment that there were at least six explosions in the city. It's very loud in the city right now. Six to seven explosions of approximately the same force were heard. The windows in the house shook a little, said a resident of Kerch. The main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine attacked occupiers' boats in the temporarily occupied Crimea. We are probably talking about vessels of the KS-701 Tuna type. According to the UP, citing sources in the special services, the boats were attacked by maritime drones of the Magura V-5 GUR. The attacks took place near the village of Chernomorskoy, Epitoria region. The enemy actively used aviation, small arms and artillery to counter the attack, but to no avail, the source noted. According to SPME sources, Crimea was attacked with missiles and drones. Two ferries were damaged in the Kerch Strait. According to the Minister of Transport of the Annexed Peninsula, Nikolai Lukashenko, car and railway ferries were damaged by debris from downed missiles. There are no casualties among sailors or civilians. After assessing the damage, the ferry crossing will be resumed, Lukashenko wrote in his telegram channel. Residents of Kerch reported that they heard about 20 explosions in the city at night, writes the Russian telegram channel Astra. The Ukrainian TV channel Suspiln reported, citing a local resident, that six explosions occurred in Kerch. During the attack, Traffic on the Crimean Bridge was blocked for about an hour. The Russian Ministry of Defense said that at night air defense systems shot down eight Atoms missiles over the Azov Sea and intercepted eight drones over the Black Sea near Crimea.